3 algebra describes linear structures that help in diagnostics and decision making for diverse real life problems and this is uh, this course is an essential component um, in any field related to science engineering and business and other related fields this course is offered for two weeks with sufficient practice to develop your skills um, that ensure understanding of the basic ideas in linear algebra and develop the fluency of computation. To study this course, you must have some knowledge of vectors and matrices. Let's consider this system of linear equations. So there are four equations in this system and they are all linear. Uh, the first thing I would like to do to understand if the system has a solution is to look at its graph if possible. Now there are many softwares available that will help you in drawing the graph uh, of these equations if they intersect in a point or in a line or in a plane, whatever. You can do that and I have done that as well. So let's look at the graph to see if it has a solution. We can see um, all the planes intersecting in this figure from different angles. And you can see that they are not all intersecting in one line. So the line cannot be a solution. They are definitely not intersecting in a plane as well. So the plane is also not a solution. The only possibility left here is the point. Okay, now the graph shows that there is indeed a solution. So we can simply um, click through in this question and move on to the next part. Okay, now the system verifies that our solution was correct. Our assumption that the system has a solution is correct. So we move on to uh, other parts, other sections of the question. The next thing we have to do is to write down the solution. Now to write down the solution, we first need to know how many solutions are there. Is there a unique solution or there are multiple solutions? Although the graph has shown that there is a unique solution, we need to find that solution. And for that, we solve this system simultaneously. And uh, we, uh, we see that we will come down to uh, one solution. And let's look at the worksheet for that. We see that we have four equations. We write them in different colors. And we note that the blue equation gives us the value of y straight away. So we focus on the other equations. So for example, we are taking the first two equations, the green and the purple one. And we insert the value of y from the blue equation into them. And we solve them. And we note that actually both of them represent the same equation. So we take one of them, the green one, and solve it with the orange one. Okay, the two circled equation will be solved now simultaneously. And will give us the value of z as you see and that gives gives us the value of x as shown that there is a solution uh, which we can write here in the required format so i have entered the solution here and um, you can see it is in the correct format but to verify that i have written it correctly let me see its preview Okay, 
So the preview shows that I have written the question correctly. So I close it. And the next thing I have to do is to form an augmented matrix of the system. And you know that an augmented matrix um, is the matrix of all the coefficients in the system from the left and the right hand side, except the right hand side coefficients are separated by a line. So we do that on a worksheet first and we'll write the answer here. We call this matrix C and we write down all the coefficients of our four equations as you see in the matrix. Um, give it a minute to compare with the equations and you will note down that all the coefficients of x, y, z are on the left side of the separating line and on all the constants are on the right side. This is an augmented matrix. Now, um, in the worksheet, we won't be able to enter uh, the separating line, so we will just enter this matrix as a 4x4 four four matrix. And then we, uh, this is a sample 4x4 four four matrix, we have to enter our values here. So this is our augmented matrix from the worksheet. You can check that it is the same matrix. And then we move on to the next part which asks us to reduce the augmented matrix into echelon form and enter the answer below. So let's go back to the worksheet again and reduce our augmented matrix into echelon form and bring it back here. So we come back to our augmented matrix in black and we see that we have to reduce it to echelon form which means that we have to first convert all the elements below the first pivot 1 equal to 0. So we subtract the first row from the fourth row and add it to the second row for the purpose. For the next step, we know that the green matrix is um, giving us the second and the third row as the same row, having the same elements. So we can subtract the third from the second to get a zero row, but we don't want a zero row at the third place, before the fourth place. So we uh, interchange third and fourth rows for the purpose. And this way we can um, subtract the second row from the third and the fourth row to have a zero row at the fourth place. And you note that this gives us Sorry, this gives us a zero row at the fourth place, and all the elements below all the pivots are zero, so we've got the echelon form. So we have entered um, our echelon form of the augmented matrix in the system, and uh, we now have to decide if this echelon form suggests a solution, and we know that it does. So we choose uh, the answer true out of the two options um, and we wait for the system to respond to our selection after we do. And the system will um, uh, tell us about the whole section all four parts done 
whether they are done correctly or not and the system says that yes they are done correctly so we move on to the next uh, part which asks us to suggest the geometry of the solution on the basis of what we have done so far and uh, since we know uh, that there is a unique solution so uh, the geometry of the solution must be a point not a line not a plane obviously um, and the next part uh, in in the next part we we will talk about why we are choosing uh, a point or a unique solution of the system the first choice uh, asks uh, asks us to tell about if the last column being a non leading column could be the reason now it could be the reason but since it's not a sufficient idea uh, not uh, every uh, time the last column is a non leading column suggests a unique solution so uh, we we don't opt for it the second choice is that there's a non leading column in the first three columns which is not true the third choice the last column is a non leading column and there's one non leading column in the first three columns again this is not true uh, no column in the first three columns is a non leading column and the last row is a zero row and we are actually solving three equations in three variables at the right choice and the system shows that uh, it is the right choice so um, we have uh, done all parts of this question now and we uh, now wait for the system to show us our grades which is important because although we know that we have done all parts correct um, it's good to see the breakdown uh, how the system grades us since all uh, our responses were correct so there is no explanation um, of the questions but if we uh, had done something wrong then the system would explain uh, the right choice and why it would be the right choice and we see that the total grade is uh, one at the top which means we have obtained 100 percent